Hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid and the anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid. If you haven't watched the videos on papillary carcinoma and follicular carcinoma, do make sure to watch those videos first. Now, as far as the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid is considered, the medullary carcinoma of thyroid, it arises from the parafollicular cells or the C cells. Now, you know that these parafollicular cells or the C cells, they are located in between the follicles as I already told you. And the main role of these parafollicular cells is to secrete a hormone which is called as the calcitonin and this calcitonin plays a very important role in the normal metabolism of the calcium and this calcitonin will eventually promote the excretion of calcium through the renal system and hence it will decrease the levels of total calcium and therefore it will play a very important role in normalizing the levels of calcium when they get elevated. Now in case of parafollicular cell tumor or the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid, there occurs the neoplastic proliferation of these parafollicular cells. As a result of this, these cells will produce an increased amount of calcitonin. So there will be increased amount of calcitonin within the thyroid gland. Now when we take the biopsy of this thyroid gland, the biopsy of this thyroid gland will show a typical pattern in which there will be something which is called as amyloid stroma. Now what are amyloid? These amyloids are basically the deposits of calcitonin in this case. So in the case of medullary carcinoma of thyroid, the calcitonin will form amyloid deposits and in these amyloid deposits there will be sheets of cells which are actually the neoplastic parafollicular cell. So this is the very important and very interesting feature of the medullary carcinoma of thyroid in which we have a amyloid stroma and this amyloid stroma is composed of calcitonin and in this amyloid stroma there are the sheets of cells which are none other than the parafollicular cells. Now if we talk about the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid, the basic mutation which is responsible for the pathogenesis is called as RET mutation. Now this RET mutation will lead to the parafollicular cell neoplastic growth and ultimately the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid. Now this RET mutation, it may occur as isolated phenomena or it may occur as familial cases which are called as the men syndrome and these men syndrome basically they are of various subtypes but the subtypes which are associated with ret mutation and the medullary carcinoma of thyroid they are called as men to a and men to b syndrome now if you don't know about these men syndrome i have made a video separately on these men syndrome and you can just find the link in the description box and do watch the videos on the men syndrome so this was the whole idea about the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid to just make a quick recap we have parafollicular cells which secrete calcitonin and in medullary carcinoma of the thyroid there occurs a neoplastic proliferation of those parafollicular cells which secrete increased amount of calcitonin. This increased amount of calcitonin will form a amyloid stroma and in this amyloid stroma there will be sheets of the neoplastic cells. Further, the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid is associated with the RET mutation. This RET mutation may be isolated or it may be in familial cases which are called as the men syndrome and the typical types of men syndrome which, uh, in which the uh, medullary carcinoma of thyroid is present are called as the men to A and the men to B syndromes. Now, if we talk about the treatment, the treatment of the, medu of the medullary carcinoma of thyroid is total thyroidectomy. Now, in this case, we do not do lobectomy because the medullary carcinoma of thyroid is a multicentric carcinoma and it is present in various centers or various places of the thyroid gland. So, we have to do total thyroidectomy. 
so this was the whole idea about the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid uh, now the last subtype of the cancer which arises within the thyroid gland is called as the anaplastic carcinoma now this anaplastic carcinoma is also derived from the follicular cell but the main thing about this anaplastic carcinoma is that it consists of undifferentiated cells so we are not able to make up that the cells are differentiated and whether they are follicular or they are papillary so it is a undifferentiated type of carcinoma now this type of carcinoma is typically found in the older females which present with a rock solid hard mass a rock solid hard mass in the neck and this hard mass in the neck is rapidly enlarging and it is not only enlarging but it is also involving and it is also involving and compressing the adjacent structures like the esophagus like the trachea etc so as a result of this this tumor is said to be having the worst prognosis so this tumor will have the worst prognosis and if we do the histology of this tumor or the biopsy of this tumor there will be very non specific findings because the cells are non differentiated and occasionally in this tumor there are giant cells or the multinucleated cells now if we talk about the treatment of anaplastic carcinoma no modality of treatment is of use in this case because the anaplastic carcinoma is rapidly progressing and it is involving the adjacent structures there were there is no treatment which is of proven value in case of anaplastic carcinoma however for the palliative purposes we can do the total thyroidectomy so this is all about the thyroid cancer i hope you like these videos do make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel